Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury from the Archie Luxury channel and today guys, I want to talk about something that's really quite despicable. I want to talk about a certain rodent out there. That's right. I want to talk about a pretend YouTube celebrity who, who promotes garbage watches. Best watch under 500 bucks, best watch under $200, best chronograph under a thousand bucks and I got to tell you something guys that's the sort of money you should pay for a service not for a wristwatch you buy this cheap garbage what do you get you think you're getting a bargain but you're not getting a bargain you're getting ripped off and the reason I say you're getting ripped off is they have absolutely no value whatsoever they're worthless they're junk. They're rubbish. Nobody wants this crap. And this is the really sad thing. See, in this hobby that we call horology, what happens is, unless you're a really rich person, you need to sell your beginner pieces to buy the more advanced pieces. And if you've bought micro brand shitter crap, well, guess what? Nobody wants that garbage. Nobody wants that garbage garbage the thing is this is so bad and evil and uh you there are a certain number of rodents out there who are promoting affordable wristwatches this is the biggest crop of shit known to man and they very cleverly disguise it they say well i'm a snob i'm into snobbery they indirectly refer to the pontiff uh as an elitist snob well hang on a minute Let's go and take a really good look at a certain rodent's collection. In recent times, he's bought views, he has bought subscribers. But have a look at what's happened as the money has come in. Because let's face it, the money has come in. If you promote enough affordable crap long enough, you will get punters you will get customers because there's a lot more customers who have a hundred and fifty dollars to spend than ten thousand dollars to spend everyone wants an easy out if you can come into a forum and be accepted for the cheap nasty son of a bitch you are well why not and that's what it is it's an exclusive boys club for losers for beta soy males now, when we have a look at a certain rodent's collection, guess what he's been investing his money in? Rolex stock. That's right. Rolex. He's been investing into Rolex. And it's quite funny. Um, you have these, these collectors, these, these other channels. I'm very honest and upfront and I'll tell you, that uh, yes, I've had a, a magical Rolex re resurgence myself. I've actually sold a lot of my collection off to buy Rolex pieces. And the interesting thing is, is that this so-called competitor who wants to democratize the wristwatch collector hobby, what does he put his real money into? What does he put his money into? Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. And, and why would he do that? Because he knows the truth. Micro brands, affordable watches are garbage. They're absolute garbage. And nobody wants them on the secondary market. Nobody wants that crap. Nobody wants that garbage. And the real smart money goes with Rolex. <clears throat> That's exactly right and it, i always find it quite hilarious when people you know there's there's nothing wrong with being a hypocrite as long as you announce the fact that you are a hypocrite if you're going to pretend you're not a hypocrite when you are that's when real hypocrisy takes over and it's evil so if you have a look at a certain uh youtube rodent out there You'll see that, yes, he's starting to earn more money. Of course, he's spruiking, spruiking micro brands, spruiking fucking garbage. 
he's spruiking this stuff and the customers are lapping it up, lapping it up. That's right, they're lapping it up. But where does he put his money? Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. You put your money into Rolex. You want to retain your money, you buy Rolex. That's the honest, nasty, awful truth. You buy Rolex. That's what you do. You don't buy micro brands. You don't buy affordable shitters. $500 chronographs. A chronograph service is more than that. And that's the reality. You want to be cheap. You want to be nasty. You're going to be ending up with garbage. And... Uh, even my nastiest, vicious competitor. Have a look where that rodent puts his money. Where does his money go? Rolex. Why does he put it into Rolex? Because he gets his money back. It's an investment. It's like an investment bond. Rolex. That's where you go. You put your money into Rolex. So, guys... Look very carefully at your gurus. Have a look at what they actually put their money into. And uh, do they put their money into micro brands? Well, they, the truth is they probably get these micro brands delivered free. That's right, delivered free. See, if you're an influencer like the pontiff is, I get heaps of crap given to me for free. And uh, i got to be honest with you. I, 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 I have been, I have been myself influenced by, I've been influenced by money. Yes, I have done some nasty things. I've, I was taken aback like the preacher, the preacher who took his, took the money out of the plate. I've been taken aback many times myself, but I'm telling you this with an honest, an honest grin. Be very careful to the fake profits you listen to. Be careful. Put your money into Rolex. Have a look at how much Rolex they actually buy. I'm Paul Pluter. I am the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, AC3. I'd like you guys, please like, subscribe, tell your dickhead friends, and don't forget to put some nasty comments down below. Archie Luxury, signing out, fuckers.
tonight I am eating pepperoni pizza. I am having garlic pizza. And I'm also having a beef and reef. Delivered to me by Uber Eats from Pizza Capers. Uber Eats, because a man's gotta eat. I gotta eat, fuckers.